Hey, it's Teresa with My Lice Advice, and today I'm gonna to be talking about house cleaning after lice. Let's get to it. Before getting started, in case we haven't met, my name's Teresa, I'm a registered nurse, and I specialize just in head lice. I've owned my own lice center for years, and I work with government agencies, school districts, stuff like that, to help children with the worst head lice cases in America. And I teach parents how to get rid of lice in one treatment by doing a professional lice treatment on their child at home on my website, mylyceadvice.com. So enough about me, let's talk about you. If your child has lice, you're probably wondering how in the world you are going to clean the house. So we're gonna talk about the five principles of house cleaning. Follow these five principles and you will be able to clean everything in your house in exactly the right way. Principle number one, lice live on the head. So the thing I wanna be the clearest about here is that it doesn't matter how much you clean your house, if you don't take care of lice on the head, you are never going to get rid of lice. And that's because lice live on the head. They have to live on your head because they feed on your head every couple of hours and their lice eggs have to have a certain temperature. They have to have the temperature of the scalp in order to grow and to hatch. And that's why lice bugs lay their eggs right up next to the scalp. So if a lice bug were to fall off on your furniture or anything like that, it's not going to survive very long. It dehydrates and dies because it can't get the blood from your head. So lice that fall off the head, the very longest that they could possibly live is 48 hours off the head. Most of them die within just 24 hours off the head. And then as far as lice eggs go, also known as nits, those cannot hatch off the head. They have to have a very precise temperature. So when I talk about house cleaning, I really want you to just focus in on the 48 hour time frame. The other thing for you to know is that traditional lice treatments don't work. So if this is your second or third time around with lice and you're thinking that you're missing something in your house cleaning, that's never gonna take care of your lice problem. The problem is that you're relying on over-the-counter lice treatments or home remedies to take care of your lice problem and that's not gonna work because lice have grown immune to those treatments. Which is why on myliceadvice.com, I teach parents how to do a professional lice treatment on their child at home so that they can get rid of lice for good. Principle number two, do not use lice sprays. So I've already mentioned how lice have grown resistant or immune to traditional lice treatments. Well, the drug that they're really resistant to is called permethrin. And in the most recent studies, 98 to 99% of lice are resistant to this drug, permethrin. So don't spray that stuff on your couch because it's not gonna kill any lice and the chances of you guys breathing in that toxic stuff, those chemical pesticides, is pretty high. So it's not worth it and there's actually quite a bit of risk to it. So instead of doing any of those kinds of sprays or anything, if you wanna clean your couch, the better way to do that is just to vacuum your couch. Principle number three. Okay, so three, four, and five, I'm gonna talk about really quick because I want you to try and memorize this. So you can either dry it, boil it, or bag it. So dry, boil, bag, dry, boil, bag. Try and remember that. So principle number three is put something in the dryer. Now, if you take all those sheets and their blankets and everything and put them in the washing machine, that has done you absolutely no good because lice can hold their breath in water up to 24 hours. So washing stuff in the washing machine is not gonna do you any good. And those lice aren't gonna fall off the bedding or something like that into the washer. They actually hold on really, really tight whenever they're exposed to water. So they're gonna just stick right on that bedding. So it's really important, not washing it, but drying it in the dryer on high heat. So the best study ever done about the dryer on high heat is that all lice bugs die with 40 minutes of high heat in the dryer. So that's what I suggest for people. If something's dirty and you wanna wash it, then go for it, but just be sure that it goes through the dryer. Okay, so remember it's dry, boil, bag. So number four is boil. 
Now I don't suggest that you actually boil your brushes and your combs and stuff because that will melt them. So if you're planning on boiling all that stuff, then you might as well throw it away and just get new stuff. But what I suggest is bringing it up to a boil, taking it off the heat, and then placing all of your brushes and combs and things like that in that hot water. The temperature of the water needs to be more than 135 degrees. So I recommend 140 degrees, which is the same temperature as hot tea or hot coffee. And you only need to leave them in there for 10 minutes. 10 minutes in very hot water is going to kill any lice bugs, lice eggs, etc. Now remember, it's dry, boil, or bag. So number five is bag. So you can bag anything up that you couldn't put through the dryer or that you couldn't put in hot water. You can just bag it up for 48 hours. Now, I know you've heard some crazy things. Two weeks, six weeks, all that. Those are people that don't actually know what they're talking about. Like I said, in every study, lice bugs cannot live past 48 hours and lice eggs cannot live without a very precise temperature, the temperature of your head. So there's no chance of anything being able to infest your child after the 48 hour mark. Okay, now we're gonna do a quick review, but stick with me because after this quick review, I'm gonna give you my number one top secret bonus tip for house cleaning after lice. Remember the top principle is that lice live on the head and you're not gonna get rid of lice doing a bunch of house cleaning. You need to get rid of lice on the head. Put your energy and focus there. And remember, lice are resistant to traditional lice treatments that worked in the past. So I recommend that you check out mylyceadvice.com and check out Get Rid of Lice Like a Pro where I teach you how to do a professional lice treatment on your child at home. Principle number two, don't use pesticide lice sprays. Remember they're made of that drug permethrin that lice are resistant to. Number three, dry it in a dryer on high heat for 40 minutes. The washing machine does not kill lice. Number four, don't boil brushes, but boil the water and take it off the heat. That's the right temperature to put your combs and brushes in. And number five, you can bag anything up for 48 hours. So if you're looking for an all-inclusive checklist of exactly what to clean and how to clean it, I actually have that on the homepage of my website, myliceadvice.com. And on that page, you're gonna find step-by-step by room exactly what to clean and how to clean it. So head over to myliceadvice.com for an exact checklist of what to clean and how to clean it in each room. And of course, while you're over there, you can check out Get Rid of Lice Like a Pro so you can learn how to do a professional lice treatment on your child at home. Now you're ready for my top secret of cleaning your house after lice. And my top secret is actually a sticky tape lint roller. So you've seen something like this before, right? And inside it's tape, very sticky. If you have animals, then you probably already have one. This is what I use to clean furniture after lice. It's super, super easy. If you have an animal and you have one of these, then you know that these sticky tape lint rollers pick up way more than any vacuum ever could. So instead of vacuuming all the couches and everything else, I use a sticky tape lint roller. And the same is true if after you take off like the sheets and the bedding and everything else, and you're worried about your mattress, then you just run this over your mattress a couple of times. And I've tested this tons and tons of times on real lice and a sticky tape lint roller picks up lice better than anything else. So be sure to subscribe and like this video. And I like to offer support to everyone around the world that's struggling with lice right now. So if you wanna help support other people, then you can write in the comments, lice sucks or something like that because lice really does suck. And I'm sorry that you're going through it. And it's for that reason that I really hope that this journey ends for you very, very quickly. If you wanna learn how to do a professional ice treatment at home, or if you're looking for that house cleaning checklist, be sure to head over to my website, myliceadvice.com. Or if you wanna continue your learning here on YouTube, then this top video here explains get rid of lice like a pro and what it means to do a professional ice treatment at home. And this bottom video here is one that I think you'd enjoy.